When you talk about developing public policies, I think the first thing we need to do is listen to what families need. And what families will tell you is, I need more time in my child's life, so I need the kind of employer that's flexible, and we need the kind of public policies that encourages that flexibility, that I want access to quality childcare and quality preschools for my child, just like all children. And so if we listen to families and respond to those needs, then I think we're going in the right direction with public policy. Well, I think that science has a real role to play in getting this information into the hands of both parents, but also legislators and policymakers. Because once you understand what's happening to brains in that early period, you, you get this sense of responsibility. For parents, it's understanding that, my goodness, I'm building that brain. It's me. And legislators and policymakers have to understand that society needs help in allowing everyone access to the information that's building brains. In the United States, we've conducted these studies that show what is the benefit of a dollar of investment in the early years of a child. What we found when you only consider these more limited objectives like earnings and employment and things like crime, that we find that each dollar invested pays back over the lifetime about $7, which is a very high return, much higher than the stock market in the United States, much higher than many, many other returns that we actually might find. É injusto dizer para uma mulher que ela tem que amamentar exclusivamente o peito, o filho, até seis meses, e se possível até dois anos, se ela quiser, e dar uma licença maternidade de quatro meses. Porque nas sociedades mais desenvolvidas e mais éticas, você tem licença maternidade de um ano, um ano e meio, dois anos. When we invest in the child herself from the first years of life, we are building her human capital. We are enabling her to transition to school to succeed in school, to continue to secondary education, and becoming an earning, productive citizen of society. But that's not the only way. When we start investing in early childhood, we start to see benefits for the little child's immediate family. We see her older siblings can go to school now. They no longer have to take care of her. We start to see economic growth because the mothers have a chance to work. Because poverty, as we know, many faces and many dimensions. And this is one of the many, many ways we see pathways between early childhood and poverty reduction. So when we help the child, when we invest in early childhood, we invest in society as a whole. And understanding that when you pay attention to the beginning of a story, you can change the whole story for the better. Okay.